If we told you that modern technology, including everything around about you right now, isn't modern at all, but very ancient, in fact, it has always existed and probably always will. In today's world, certain things exist that we take for granted, but these things have not always existed in the form we are accustomed to. In fact, it is probable that the existence of things of technological brilliance only exist because they have been envisioned by one person from one idea that came to them in one moment of surreal realization. You better believe that what most things are, are the manifestation of thoughts that have no apparent origin. That's for most people, but then we have the other 0.001% of us. The small fraction is the handful of people that have existed throughout history that have made great breakthroughs single-handed. These people have never existed in pairs at any given point in history. They are the special ones. These are the people who would be considered gods in the ancient world. They see everything we don't. Some brilliant people among us are able to see what the ordinary eyes and minds cannot. When inventor Nikola Tesla thought of the Niagara Falls, he saw it not just as a stunning display of nature's might and majesty, but as a way to create energy for human endeavors. In 1895, Tesla and industrialist George Westinghouse created the world's first hydroelectric power plant at the Niagara Falls. He wanted to power the world. What if we didn't have the big city, lights, sound, bustling and energy bouncing about all over the place, all generated by electricity and wireless technology and what we consider to be modern, by the way, but it's not. If you consider the pylons of the ancient world and the pyramid power plant theory and the very fact that Nikola Tesla tried almost single-handed to replicate this technology, then you must at least begin to question what else the great man learned about during his lifetime. Wait till you hear this. It is more than a case of absolute astounding brilliance that Nikola Tesla had the idea of utilizing the power from this magnificent waterfall to generate electricity in the first place, what was that thought born of, you must wonder? The power generated by the Great Falls can be found through a process called hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity refers to the generation of electrical power through the use of the gravitational force caused by falling or flowing water. In this case, the source of the flowing or falling water is Niagara Falls. This wasn't exactly a random thought for Tesla either, as he had always dreamed of generating energy by harnessing the power from the falls, but it wasn't until 1893 that his dream became a reality when Westinghouse was awarded the contract to develop the plant. This wasn't exactly a small dream either, as Tesla was a supporter of alternating current as opposed to direct current which is what society was leaning towards using at this time. In fact, there were proposals submitted for the power project to use DC, including one backed by Thomas Edison. It's a good thing that the Niagara Falls Commission agreed to allow Tesla to use AC because it's far more powerful and safer to transfer over long distances as AC is what we use now to power entire cities and indeed the modern world this would not have been possible without Tesla. This project was not only time consuming, but it was expensive. And interestingly enough, some of the investors were among the elite members of society, including the Rothschilds and JP Morgan. It wasn't actually until November of 1896 that the first sign of power reached Buffalo, New York. The Niagara Falls Gazette reported, the turning of a switch in the big powerhouse at Niagara completed a circuit which caused the Niagara River to flow uphill. Soon after, the first 1,000 horsepower of electricity surging to Buffalo was acclaimed by the railway and then demand surged among local residents. Within a few years, the number of generators at Niagara Falls multiplied and power lines were all over New York City, creating the abundance of lights and power the city is now well known for today. 
The birth of the Niagara Falls hydroelectric power plant represented the birth of modern cities. It allowed us to implement an abundance of streetlights, public transportation, and more. During the Niagara Falls opening ceremony of the hydroelectric power station, Nikola Tesla stated the following. We have many a monument of past ages. We have the palaces and pyramids, the temples of the Greek and the cathedrals of Christendom. In them is exemplified the power of men, the greatness of nation, the love of art and religious devotion. But the monument at Niagara has something of its own, more in accord with our present thoughts and tendencies. It is a monument worthy of our scientific age, a true monument of enlightenment and of peace. It signifies the subjugation of natural forces to the service of man, the discontinuance of barbarous methods, the relieving of millions from want and suffering. This was a man determined to change the world. He wanted to show our civilization that we did not need to destroy this planet in order to be plentiful. He knew the ancient world had technology that could greatly enhance the modern world. He knew this through direct access to the Akashic Record. Nikola Tesla's innovation in Niagara Falls is a lesson for us all to take risk and to have more faith in our endeavors and our intuition. He showed us that there truly is magic in nature and that we don't have to destroy the environment in order to access energy. It's strange to think that even over a hundred years later, society is still struggling to accept many of the concepts Tesla discussed. He truly was a man who was ahead of his time, and that remains true to this day. Can you imagine a world today without the birth of Nikola Tesla? Simply put, it wouldn't exist. He was very ambitious in his day, but these ambitions were very frustrating in a society where Tesla upset the status quo. He battled hard to change the world in the way that he did. He received very little to no credit for these efforts and whatever money he had, he reinvested it into projects from ideas that were documented in the tens of thousands. When he died, 85 suitcases were known to be in Nikola Tesla's possession at the Hotel New Yorker. Around 40 were never accounted for, 40 suitcases stuffed full of ideas that would only gradually become reality decades after his death. In fact, even to this day, Tesla technology is still being dripped fed to the world for massive financial gain. Tesla's dream of free energy for all it is yet to be realized. What do you guys think of this anyway?